I feel as though with this bag, I've driven you all mad talking about it and I decided to get it in the end. You wait until you hear how much I actually got this for because it's unheard of. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So this is gonna be quite a big haul. I've got a new handbag, which I, I think you're gonna scream when you see it because of the color and it's not a color that you know that I've been looking at. That's all I'm gonna tell you. And the other thing is I got it for a 440 pounds discount and I'm gonna tell you how I did that because I did, wasn't expecting it. Wasn't expecting it at all. So we're gonna talk about handbags. Before we do that, I've got loads of new clothes that have all turned up this morning. The first thing I'm gonna start with is one of my favorites actually. I already knew that I was gonna like this, but when I tried it on, I was like, I really like this. This is a 100% wool cape coat kind of jacket. And um, some of the things I like about it, I love the collar detail around the top, how it looks when it's buttoned up. It also comes with a belt. So the belt is part of the price and it means you can really cinch the waist in. I've seen some people on Instagram styling this with, um, there are matching shorts that go with it. I've seen some people styling it like that, so it becomes like a little short set. That looks really cute. I personally wanted to style it with um, some black, slightly flared jeans. I'll link to these below. These are also from the same place. Everything is from a brand called Goelia. Goelia, I would say, is like high-end high street. Everything is made of very premium materials. It's one of their like USPs, if you like, is they're all about um, high quality materials, good for the environment at an attainable price. So for example, you might pay one, two or 300 pounds for a coat, but it's really good quality. It's gonna last you and it's in like a timeless design. And it's something that I really like about the brand. With this, I can't remember if I said, but it's also machine washable and it doesn't crease. When I got this, I was really surprised there's not a crease on it. And when I read about it, it does actually state that, that it doesn't crease. The second thing is the shirt I'm wearing. Um, this is a really thick material. One of the things I like about it is I take a size 10, but I have a large bust. And normally whenever I, whenever I take my size, it fits my body, but it doesn't fit my chest. This shirt doesn't pull or gape at all. So if you also have a larger bust, this is a winner for you. It's a very thick material. It's not see-through. There's none of that nonsense. You like, you can't see my underwear underneath this. It's very comfortable. I really like the way it's got the pinstripe uh, down there and it's got all of the buttons are covered in fabric. So they're all fabric covered and it's got the little pinstripe around there. So really, really good quality. And I also think that this could work for work but also for casual, I feel like it can do both. Okay, the next thing, and I was like, I was actually surprised about these. So I really wanted to get a white pair of jeans. And white jeans, I think, unless you're very, very slim, in my opinion, can be sometimes hard to work with. Like, they, for me, they can make me feel self-conscious. And also in case, like, you can see your underwear through them, like, all of this kind of thing, can sometimes put me off buying a white pair of trousers or jeans. But I wanted to try these mainly because I liked the cut of them. I liked that they were loose on the leg, but very fitted around the waist. These are made from an oil resistant fabric and I will tell you what the composition is. So these are a cotton mix basically. There is like a little bit of stretch in them, but because of the, the cut of them, the way they, they're almost like a sailor pant, the way they're very fitted on the waist and they skirt out, I feel like they are very flattering on pretty much anyone. Okay, the next thing, and it's so cute, is this. It's very Celine, it's like a little cardigan. It's a, it, it has actually quite a thick material and they describe it as an eco-friendly mink. It's not mink, okay? It's not mink, uh, it's a, a mix of different component parts, but it's not mink. So if you're like vegan or like, cause I don't wear fur, I would never wear fur, um, then don't worry, but that's how they describe it. And I can see why they do describe it that way because it's fluffy. It's fluffy on the inside, on the outside. It's very soft because of the thickness of it. I would really say that this is a good jumper for this time, time of year because it's layerable. It's quite thick, it was very warm when I was wearing it, 
but it's not so thick that you can't put a nice coat or a jacket over the top. Um, and that also has the really lovely gold buttons down the front. So again, like very, I would say very Celine style. Um, the next is another favorite of mine and it's a cropped off. I really like a cropped off jacket or top. And this is a cropped off little jacket. It has got sparkle in it and I've shown close-ups of all of the all of the products and I'm really hoping you can see the materials but in this it's black with little stripes down it and it's got tiny tiny flecks of gold through that you only really see when you get very close up and I feel as though that gold really complements the gold buttons that run down the front but also you have gold buttons on the sleeve and this is a very thick material let's see what it's made of a wool mix so and the lining is polyester but the actual jacket itself is a wool mix which kind of makes sense because again when I tried it on I felt like it was it's a very thick material it was very warm it's basically very elegant that one I feel that one is is very elegant let's do another jacket this this one is nice if you like a teddy jacket wait until you see this but if you like the teddy material, but you find the Max Mara teddy coat too much, like because I find that it can drown a person, that coat, even though it's cute, then have a look at this. This is so sweet. It's lined with like a micro suede. It's not suede, but it feels like that. It's lined with like a micro suede lining. Very, very soft. That lining is also on the reverse of the collar. It has got beautiful gold buttons down the front of it but it also has gold buttons on the two pockets that are there as well it's got the brand uh label on the inside it's beautifully warm i think it's so sweet looking i've with all of these things in case white trousers or jeans are not your thing i've tried everything on also with black jeans so that you can see how actually Changing the trouser colour alone can really change up the look of the outfit in question. So I hope that this is kind of like helping. But this is, I love everything and I can't wait to wear everything out. But this is particularly sweet. And then two final things before I move on to the bag. The next is this jacket here. This also has flecks of metallic blue thread through it that you see when you get very, very close up. And as, as again, I hope you can see it. I really like as well around the collar here, it's got like a plait design that runs all the way down. It's got gold buttons down the front of it. And it also has a gold button on the cuff. I've kind of given the game away here because I did try this on with the, the new bag. Um, because I, when I was trying this on, I was like, oh, that new bag's gonna go so well with this. And although this is quite formal, hopefully I'm showing you here how you can dress it up in a way that feels more casual. And this is very Chanel style. Um, that's one of the things I really like about it. It's really nicely lined on the inside. And this is made from a cotton mix, but there is some wool in it as well. So it is, it's just a, a perfect jacket for this time of year. I have ordered in all of the sizes, I take a UK 10, which I think is a US 6, I think. Um, and I've taken a size 10 or a size small in everything. So some things come, you, you pick the actual size of your items. Some is like small, medium, large, and I've gone for small in everything just to give you an idea, just to give you an idea of that. And then there is also this, which is a beautiful, very thick knit, but not fluffy, not like that wool that gets like stuck in your eyes and your eyelashes. A very thick knit that is a V-neck, slightly cropped off, stripe black with um, like white, v-neck knit top knit like cardigan and it has these really pretty buttons down the front of it um what i also like is there's a really pretty texture on the white trim that is kind of like a waffle type knit it's really that sort of thing that you see when you get closer but it adds like a richness to it it adds all of these details, I think, with clothes such as this, when you get closer and you see those details, that's when they feel expensive. Um, but also the, the thickness of this, the quality of this feels premium as well. And then the final item is a dress. 
And I wanted to try this because I don't actually wear dresses, you know that, um, but I saw this. I actually saw this on Instagram and I saw someone style it really beautifully and I wanted to try. So it is a cream, very flattering, elasticated dress with black contrast trim around the edge. It has pearl buttons on it. Really, really Chanel style. Again, this feels, uh, with all of their stuff, it feels very like Chanel or it feels designer. You know, like this feels Max Mara. They all feel kind of designer inspired in their own way. So this is the other thing that I tried, which is really, really nice as well. And because this is A-line, I feel as well like it flatters everyone. It really skirts out really beautifully. It's not clingy. The material isn't clingy. I feel like this is the perfect thing that you could wear at work, styled with some like sheer black tights. Um, or you could wear it bare-legged or whatever your style is. I've put it here with some thigh-high, um, quite flat boots. Um, which were in like a taupey kind of colour, which I thought kind of, I don't know until I've watched it back, but I felt at the time like that worked. We'll soon see if it works or not. When I edit it back, you let me know. But yeah, really, really sweet. So they're just some clothes. Now move on, now moving on to this bag. Let me just, I've got to show you it. I'm just going to cut to the chase here and show you it. So it is in, this is the dust bag and this is it. Look at that. This is the square marmont in the iridescent blue now you can get this bag in like the regular rectangle version or it also comes in a camera bag version or this you can get it in pink blue or green iridescent they're limited edition they're not going to be around forever i really wanted the pink and you might be thinking why didn't you get the pink okay here's the reason i um I decided I'm gonna go and get that bag. You know, I said as part of my New Year's thing, there were several things I wanted to, to do this new year. And one of them was to get this bag and go skiing and have fun basically. And I just decided I'm gonna do it. So I went to get this bag in Harrods. They didn't have it in the pink because I really wanted the square. And then I, so I Googled it and it came up on flannels. And I don't know how many of you shop from Flannels. They're a really good. They're part of House of Fraser Group in the UK. I think you can shop internationally, but they have like Prada, Max Mara, Gucci, various other brands on there. And uh, they also, they're a department store. I think they're up north somewhere. They've got a department store as well as online. Well, they had the bag in, but they had it in blue. And I had a voucher that I had forgotten about that I got last year for £440. And I suddenly, and I'm so glad I remembered about it because I would have forgotten and that would have gone to waste. And I, I remembered it and I was digging through my emails trying to find it and trying to find the, the, the like code to get it to work. And I found it and I just thought, oh my God, like I tried the code and it got me the money off. I paid, this was like, where's my phone? I don't know. I paid like 1700 pounds from this down from 2,200. And that is why I got the blue because on flannels, they didn't have the pink. And I thought the green, I personally wouldn't go for. I don't wear greens. The blue, I can, I can run with the blue. Yes, I would like the pink, but for the price I got this for, I'm very happy with the blue. So it's a beautiful ice kind of color. And it's it's like AB crystal. It's kind of purpley, greeny in the light. It's all kinds of colors. And then it's got this champagne hardware as well as a chain handle that can be worn crossbody or you can double it up like this and wear it on your shoulder. And the in the lining on the inside. So to open it, there is a little button underneath here and you push that up and it opens the bag and then on the inside look at this silver silver leather all on the inside let's take out the stuffing and have a look yeah so this is the ticket that's come with it from flannels and you can see the price on the back there 2200 but as i say i got a 440 pound discount Okay, the inside is beautiful. The inside looks like that. Can you see? I'm really hoping you can see. It's got an inner pocket with Gucci written on it. Oh, it's just 
Oh, it's so, so nice. It's lined with like um, a satin, a blue satin, and then all of this is silver tone. And you know what? I, I just love this bag. I love the puffiness of it, the chunkiness of it. I like that it's square. I do like square bags. This is, um, to get my stuff in it, so when I was gonna get it at Harrods, but they only had the green, I tried getting my stuff in it. And if I scale down, which I can, I'm gonna scale down to put, so I carry makeup round, but I carry more makeup than I actually use. Realistically, I need like a little makeup a brush, a powder, a lipstick, and a mini hand cream. They all fit in this, and I stopped using this because I needed to put it in the washing machine. And I'd moved everything to a much larger pouch, then got used to that, even though I don't use everything in it. So I'm gonna switch back to this, and as you can see, this fits in there, it's not, it's not wide, so it's gonna fit in there, and all of my stuff fits. I already tried this in Harrods, so we're all good. And I think this is so cute. Let me know what you think. Should I have got the pink? I could have got the pink, but then I'd have been paying full price and I do like a discount. So, but let me know, should I have got the pink? I do love the blue. I'm not sad about getting the blue. I'm quite happy about it. What do you think? What is the better color? So that's my new bag. And there's some of the new clothes. Share your thoughts below. I would love to get your thoughts on this bag, on the clothes, what do you think? I'm gonna link to everything below. So go and check that out there. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video.